Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening from any part of the world. My name is Tony HP, and welcome to this new video that I'm going to do. Uh, the name of the video is called People with Disabilities as Entrepreneurs. So thank you very much for all, all of you being here today. A uh, question that we ask, you know, I can get asked is, is there a way in which people with disabilities, um, whether it's autism or Asperger's or any type of disabilities, can be entrepreneurs? The answer is completely yes. And there are already uh, people with disabilities as entrepreneurs out there in the marketplace. And one great example, based on my research that I have, that I have done so far, is this uh, gentleman called Damien Win Winkler. Uh, well, I found him uh, you know, through the TED Talks channel, and, he had, and he's diagnosed with Asperger's. Well, if you look at his uh, TED talk, it it doesn't re it really doesn't look like that he has Asperger's. It says with any other disability. He talks about his struggles, about his life, and what he has done. And he has a great company. You know, he has his own business right now, which is you know he's a social skills life coach. And he's able, able to help others, our people, how to improve their social skills. And I gone through his website. And he's, you know, it's a great website. You know, great services that he has. So even though he has Asperger's, he has his own business. You know, and we have other people with other disabilities having successful businesses too, and be successful in the marketplace. And why entrepreneurs? Why can you know just get a job or have a build a career based on a job? We I under we understand that there are programs out there, whether it's in the state level. Or nonprofit, or even private, or you know, companies that help people to get jobs. State level vocational rehabilitation, nonprofit organizations. Those programs are out there to teach them the skills necessary to get a job. To be able to also taught taught them how to be independent. You know, those programs are there. So, in other words, how to become more independent. From their parents, you know, as they grow older and become, you know, adults, and take more responsibility despite their disability. But something that I have, you know, and this is based on the research that I have done. There's a lot of pro you know, programs out there, but the problem is that we have so many programs out there. Why we are not really seeing results? Why less people today with disabilities are becoming? You know, are, you know, are, are, are being employed. Why there's a 90% unemployment rate with uh, adults, people with, with autism? Why is there a significant high percentage of unemployment with people with disabilities overall? We have all these programs, but why is that? There's different factors going on as to why we have, why, why is the reason we have that high unemployment rate? There's a lot of different factors as to why employers may not want to hire people with disabilities because of concerns or misconceptions, you know, misconceptions because of what is being told in society about disabilities, whether it's autism, Asperger, or any other type of disability. As, in other words, may not, may, they may not hire people with a disability because they may see it as a liability instead of an asset. And that's what I talked about in my previous video which is the perception out there in which for in the case of autism we you know we, with autism we need to be you know sympathy to the people that have autism uh, they, you know, they have a lot of significant challenges and we need to find a way to cure the disease and be able to eliminate it and having that wrong mindset we need to change our mindset to seeing our disability as a liability you know seeing a way in which we can use our you know, disability as an asset to make a difference out there, to bring a new way of thinking, of creativity, to be successful in life. And this is what this, you know, this video is like the continuation of the first video that I did of autism asset or liability. But in reality, what I'm going to talk about right now is not necessarily related to disability, but also out there what's going on in the marketplace. Right now, uh, you know, I mean, based on the research that I have done, I'm trying to find programs to see if there's a way 
that there's a program out there that can help people with disabilities, people with disabilities or people with autism to be successful, to be entrepreneurs, to start their businesses. And I had so far, I have found barely anything. I, you know, I found the articles that talk about uh, people with autism being, um, you know, being self-employed, small business, but I really not seen a program that that is really out there that can help people with disabilities be successful entrepreneurs and which is kind of concerning to me because right now our our situation with jobs out there is very you know it's very competitive and plus it's very difficult to get a, a job you know when i talk about getting a job it's re re really mean getting a good job it's very difficult out there and people are giving up so if i'm able to not get a job then what are my alternatives start your business and and i and i don't i don't based on my research i don't see a good program out there that is able to help people with disabilities become entrepreneurs but we can be entrepreneurs you know the key is to find a way to create a program or something to help them become successful you know successful entrepreneurs so and we have seen many cases of, you know, in my case, you know, uh, ent entrepreneurship, even though there's risks, even though it's not secure, can lead to great reward because you're creating your product, your service, bringing your creativity to the entire world. And, uh, and my goal is to be able to find a way to be able to help people with disabilities become entrepreneurs. And that will be my task. So I think that we need to have an open, you know, to be able to work, to find a way, you know, to people that are watching right now, to parents that have their kids with disabilities. Um, my advice will be to be able to find a way to help your children, to be able to help your kids uh, find a way to become entrepreneurs. Not necessarily to get a job, to become more entrepreneurs be able to help them get their you know start their own businesses the, and, and it's out there you know out there in the marketplace right now and also in the in the first way for somebody to become an entrepreneur is okay you have to look at your interests that's the first step you have to look what you like to do what is your passion what is the thing that you love to do you know and be able to you, know, you want to bring significant contribution in the marketplace that's the first step to be able to start your business look at your strengths look at your weaknesses you know if you're shy your kid adult with autism or any other disability and finding their strengths and weaknesses and go from there um, i think we need to see more entrepreneurship not only with people with disability but people that don't have a disability we need to see more entrepreneurship. We need to see more creativity. Our economy needs it. And but I think that you know we need to start working on finding a way to be able to help people with disabilities become entrepreneurs and become investors. And that's what I'm going to talk about in another video. And but that's a way we need to work, start thinking and start working on it. So if you have if you have any questions, any ideas. That you would like to share, I'll definitely, you know, you know, greatly appreciate it. And on the next video, I mean, I'm going to do a couple of videos. Um, I, I think that the next video perhaps will be something about financial dependence, but I'm not sure at this time. So I would like to hear your comments right down below in terms of what you guys think. In terms, you know, I want to make what I'm starting right now with this video is just to be clear with all of you. Is to help people with disabilities be successful in life, to be able to bring tips, to bring suggestions and advice in terms of how to be successful in life, not entrepreneurship or a job, but to be successful in life. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in the next videos that I'm going to be doing. So we need to start looking our disability as an asset, be able to find ways to not only perhaps get a job, but also become entrepreneurs. 
what will need you the most to be successful, to have a successful life? And that's the things that we need to work on. So if you guys have any questions or there's anything that you were not clear in terms of what I have said so far, please let me know. I'll be able to clear it up. As I said, I don't know everything. I don't have, I'm not an expert. Uh, I just want to talk about this and finding solutions uh, to the problems that we have right now. So if you have any questions, just let me know. So thank you very much for your patience. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, this is Tony HP signing out. Thank you.